Hey, what's going on, guys? I want to do a uh, vlog talking about Black Friday and my experience of Black Friday, or what I now call Dirty Thursdays, because I think it's ridiculous that these stores are doing these sales Thursday night. First of all, obviously, it's Thanksgiving, so I think it sucks that they're putting these sales prices up during Thanksgiving. When families are generally together, now they have to split off. They have to maybe rush their meal to get out to go wait online. That sucks to begin with. But anyway, I want to experience Black Friday, not because I wanted to get into a fight or really dive into a massive crowd or stand on a line for six hours. But I wanted to go to Black Friday sales because I wanted. there's a couple things I want to get for family members for, uh, for Christmas. So I decided to go. Um, it was me, uh, Christina and my mom and my dad. And we decided to go to Walmart, and we got there at like 8.30 or so, um, and it was dead. There, were, there really wasn't a lot of people there at all. I'm like, what, what, Black Friday, I thought, you know, this is gonna be insanely packed and stuff like that. I was mentally prepared to not draw my gun on strangers because of the mayhem that I was, uh, I was ready for. Uh, and there was nothing. I walked in, there was really not a lot of people there. We got to the electronics section, and that was packed because they had some kind of uh, iPhone sale. I think it was 50 bucks for an iPhone 5C um, with a two-year agreement, and then you get a $75 uh, gift card to Walmart, something like that. So it was a screaming deal, and a lot of people were online for that. Fine. But the rest of the store was just kind of like a normal Walmart day. And I was talking to a couple people there, um, some employees, and Thursday night is when they had a lot of the sales. Now... Two of the three things I went there for weren't even there because those promotional prices were Thursday night. Um, and that sucks. They, they had, well, I'll tell you what happened. I want to get my mom a, um, a big set. There was Rachel Ray had her own set of uh, uh, kitchen stuff, pots and pans and all that kind of crap. My mom happens to like orange, you know, the color orange. So for the kitchen stuff, she likes orange. And I want to get that on a sale price. And so the Walmart has the hour guarantee, or at least they did, so that if you're there within an hour after the sale starts, you'll get the sale price. So I literally had two minutes left. It was two minutes to nine o'clock, and they opened at eight, you know, for the sale. Um, and I ran to the register, got there, it rung up normal price. So the girl's like, oh, you know, let me get a manager over here. The manager came over and showed me the flyer. That Black Friday price was for Thursday night. So I missed it. Like, what the hell? Anyway, <laughs> it was really annoying. I don't like the fact that Black Friday doesn't exist anymore. Forget it. There is no more Black Friday. There's Dirty Thursday. And I think it sucks that they're making people go out. And they're not making people do anything. Of course, obviously, no one has to go do this kind of stuff. But some of the prices are, are insane. I did see some uh, some news stories online. through. I have a CNN app on my uh, cell phone. And I saw a fight. I think it was in Indiana or something. Some Walmart. There were some Walmart fights because they had that 32-inch uh, flat-screen TV for 100 bucks, and then people were fighting over those some places. But Black Friday, it's ridiculous already, you know, but now that it's actually on Thanksgiving, I think that sucks. So I felt like ranting about it, ranting about my disappointment, although positively surprised, very pleasantly surprised um, that it wasn't really busy. I was kind of concerned about... When you're in that kind of, I mean, you want to avoid conflict, obviously, particularly when you're carrying a gun and you're carrying multiple knives and everything else. You want to go out of your way to avoid any kind of conflict. And I was happy to see that there wasn't a bunch of people there pushing and shoving and calling names because, God forbid, we're in a store and, you know, a friend or a family member gets bumped or pushed or screamed at. I'm not going to react very nicely. Um, of course, I, you know, I won't resort to violence unless I was really defending myself, but still. That concern was there, so I didn't have to worry about that kind of stuff, which is nice. But that sucks. Really? Now it's going to be Thanksgiving sales? Let me know what you think in the comments. A lot of people are completely against Black Friday to begin with because of the abundance of purchasing and stuff like that. Um, it's stuff. No one needs stuff, but there's a lot of pressure in the holidays for parents to get stuff for their kids. They want to have these big grand Christmases and even teenagers asking for things and... You know, no, no one has to do anything. And, of course, Christmas and the holidays, it has nothing to do with stuff or presents. It's all about love and being with people you care about, enjoying life and the subtleties. And, of course, if you're religious, you, you know, you focus on the religious aspect of the holidays and the real meaning of Christmas and everything else. But at the end of the day, 
a lot of us still love people and we care for them. And one way to show that affection is getting them cool, fun stuff that they may enjoy and or need. So that's why I do gifts. I do gifts for people because I love seeing the joy in their face when I give them something that they can enjoy doing, maybe something to entertain them or something that could be useful in their life, you know, practical gifts. I'm all about practical Christmas gifts. But anyway, that's all. I felt like ranting. Uh, huge disappointment for Black Friday. However, huge bonus, which I wasn't really even expecting. I was able to get some 22 ammo on Black Friday, which was nice. And I'll do a video on that next, but I don't know... Uh, I don't know if I just got lucky or if all the ammo whores just didn't show up thinking it would be too busy. But whatever the deal is, I'm not complaining. However, they did limit me to one box per person. So I ended up getting three boxes. I was going to get four, but it was still $20 a box. I just had the money to get four. But anyway, I'll do that video talking about that in just a minute. For now, let me know what you think about the sales being on Thursday night. Um, I saw all kinds of uh, statistics that you know how much it actually increased from last year, and people are going out and they're they're spending the money, they're buying all these things. Um, we live in a new era where every, everything's digital. Everyone has mobile devices. They have their you know um, their cell phones. They're ordering through. They're ordering through tablets and laptops and and all kinds of things like that, iPads. So those, of course, have risen as well. But. Uh, yeah, huge disappointment. The, the The real reason why I went there for Black Friday was null and void because all that crap was actually Thursday night, not Black Friday. So I got there a day late and a dollar short, as they say. So let me know what you think about all this stuff going on, uh, your feelings on Black Friday in general, and now, of course, the, the push-up to Thursday nights. I think next year it'll just be Thursday evening, so there'll be families that don't even make Thanksgiving dinner because they'll all be waiting online in the cold waiting to get that TV for 100 bucks. Absolutely ridiculous. Thanks for watching. <laughs> On a positive note, hope you enjoy the rest of your day. And I will see you guys soon with some awesome reviews. I got some knives to show. I got some gun stuff coming up. All kinds of things. So have a great day. I'll see you soon.